Hi everyone, Jean-Pierre from teamtennis.fr, my French website. I also have teamtennis.net, an English website. You can give a look at these websites. I am a former tennis coach in France. I sometimes make racket reviews on YouTube. And in this video, I'm going to make a review of this racket. This is the Wilson Clash 100 version number two. First, I let you watch a part of a training session I did with this racket, and then I give you my opinion. See you right now.
Okay, we are back to talk about this racket tennis warehouse Europe sent me for a demo. By the way, for your tennis equipment, I advise you to go at Tennis Warehouse Europe or Tennis Warehouse USA, depending on where you live. I have a partnership with this website and it's very nice from you if you use my affiliate link to buy there. Doing so, you will help me continue the videos I'm doing on YouTube. You can find my affiliate links if you click on the i here. My links are in the description under the video. And you can also use one of the addresses that appear uh, directly on the video. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go. We are going to start with the specifications of this racket. And at the same time, I'm, I'm going to make a comparison with the previous version. First, concerning the strings on this racket, I have a Wilson Revolve 1.25 mm tension, 23 kilograms. Let's go. Weight of the frame, like the previous version, 295 grams. Rather light, not very heavy. It's going to be interesting for many players. This kind of weight. Balance 31 centimeters and strong. Balance towards the handle. Very headlight racket. Very good maneuverability. I will talk about that later in the video. Swing weight. 313 is the same, it's rather low, very good maneuverability. Head size 645 squared centimeters, 100 squared inch with a string pattern 16 by 19. Very versatile combination between the head size and the string pattern. Beam width 24.5 millimeters all along the frame, rather thick, but it's important because the racket is very flexible, so it's interesting to have a thick uh, beam width and to have some power and at the same time some stability. Stiffness uh, 57 instead of 54 on the previous version, so the stiffness is a bit as a bit increased compared to the previous version. It's going to increase just slightly the power of the frame and the stability. And on this racket, there is a regular length of 68.5 centimeters, 27 inches. So I continue a bit with the differences between this version and the first version of the Clash 100. So slightly increased stiffness. Uh, we've seen the stiffness goes from 54 to 57, almost the same, but it's a little bit stiffer. So it's going to be interesting to increase a bit the power of the frame and also the stability. But with a stiffness lower than 60, it's still very flexible. This change of stiffness has no impact at all on the comfort given by the racket. It's still very comfortable. We'll talk about that later in the video. It just helps to provide a little more power to the frame and also some more stability, which is interesting on this frame that maybe lacked a bit of stability on the first version. Anodized painting. So we can see this is the first version of the Clash. Second one, of course, the look is different. The new one is almost completely red, just some black here at the top of the frame. Personally, I prefer this one, but of course it will depend on every player. Anyway, so anodized painting, it means that it's a paint that is going to be more resistant, which is interesting. Um, moreover, on, the, on this Wilson Clash 100, on the Wilson Clash 100 Pro, and on the Clash 98, the Clash logo uh, has been engraved into the racket instead of just being painted. Agiplast, so the racket grommets, the protective band and the butt cap are made of a plant-based Agiplast to reduce waste and ecological footprint. And uh, I want to talk now about the Fortify technology, which is not new on this racket, but it's important, so I want to say a few words about it. This technology appears with this name on the Clash number two, but it's the same technology that was already present on the Clash number one under the name FreeFlex, a technology also present on the Wilson Blade number eight. It corresponds to a particular braiding of the fibers, uh, of the carbon fibers, which allows the racket to bend in all the directions, in many directions, adapting to top spin and to flat strokes. It allows also to have a better feeling of connection to the ball. This one <laughs> is going to depend on every player and also to have flexibility and torsional stability at the same time. Regarding stability, which could be slightly lacking in the Clash uh, version one, uh, it has been slightly improved by adding some carbon at the top of the frame. Okay, now I'm going to talk to you about my feelings on the court when I played with the racket, maybe the most important, the most interesting. I'm going to start with the power given by the, the racket. And I show you on the screen a comparison in terms of power with some of the rackets maybe you already know. So in terms of power, this racket gives an intermediate level of power, like the previous version. The racket is not extremely powerful. There is a decent amount of power with, with this racket, but it's not crazy, not extremely powerful. At, at the same time, 
It's not very difficult at all to play with this racket. It's not very control oriented, just a little bit of control with this racket. Intermediate level of power, very close in my opinion to the level provided by, by the first version. You saw during my practice, my practice session, I played with both rackets in the hands uh, and I switched almost between uh, every ball I was playing to have some, some really precise feelings when I hit the ball. And really for me, the power is very close, maybe just a bit more power and stability with this frame, but it's close. So on my ground strokes, very good feelings overall, very good mix between power and control, fine on my forehand, on my backhand. My backhand is more powerful, but on the forehand and backhand it was fine. On my powerful shots, without much top spin, sometimes I lacked a bit of control, but overall really it was fine, I didn't make uh, many mistakes sending the ball uh, behind the baseline and lacking too much control. Very good mix between power and control for me. At the serve, very interesting. I have a weak serve, not much power, and it was fine with this racket, so really I appreciate. So to conclude on this frame, intermediate level of power, very close to the previous version. Okay guys, now a word concerning spins. On my slice backhand, very good feelings, nice control, nice feeling when I hit the ball, no problems at all. Now concerning top spin, like all the rackets that combine a 645 square centimeters at size and a 16 by 19 string pattern, Wilson Clash number 2 provides a very nice access to top spin without being extreme. Of course, it's going to depend on your technique, but really I find that with this racket it's very easy to put some, some top spin on the ground strokes and also on the serve. Now concerning maneuverability, the racket is very easy to swing like the previous version. The racket is headlight, balanced, 31 centimeters, unstrung, very easy to swing. Interesting for the ground strokes when you need to shorten your swings and be very fast, or simply when you don't have large swings. Interesting also at the net when you need to react and move very fast. It's interesting to know that it's one of the few rackets with a weight under 300 grams unstrung that has such a low balance. An interesting feature for players who want a racket with a reasonable weight and an excellent maneuverability. Concerning stability, I had the feeling of having a little more stability with this version than with the previous version, which I found very light in the head. So I would say a little more stability with this one. And during the three training sessions I did with this racket, I had no problem at all concerning the stability of the frame. Okay, now the comfort of the frame. So for me, it's really the point that is interesting with this racket because like the version one, it really provides, in my opinion, an exceptional level of comfort. I rediscovered uh, the sensations that maybe chewed the Wilson Clash when it was released. I played two years with this one, so I know it uh, very well. The vibration dampening is excellent without feeling too disconnected from the ball, in my opinion, but I know it's going to depend on every player. I know some players could feel that the sensations are a bit too muted with this frame, so it's better if you demo the racket to see if it fits your feelings. The racket provides very good forgiveness, and even on off-center shots, the comfort is correct. You don't receive a big shock in your arm when you off-center the ball. So the racket is very interesting regarding comfort for any players, and especially, of course, those who have injuries. Now, to conclude concerning this version number 2 of the Wilson Clash 100, I would advise this racket to intermediate players. Maybe advanced players, but in that case, advanced players who want a rather light tennis racket, and maybe begin beginners, but be careful, beginners in a good shape, because the racket could be too heavy if you begin, so I would say mainly for intermediate players. Anyway, players who want a racket with an intermediate level of power, the racket has a decent amount of power, but not completely crazy, and at the same time, it's not very control-oriented, so intermediate level of power. With any style of play, because the racket is very versatile, but be careful if you have a very powerful game, modern game, with powerful shot, you may lack control with this racket, and among Wilson tennis racket, I would advise Wilson Blade or Wilson Pro Staff for uh, the, the best control for your shots. Players who are looking for an easy access to top spin, very easy to put some top spin with this racket on the ground strokes and on the serve. Players looking for, an, for a headlight tennis racket, very good maneuverability with this racket. And players looking for an extremely comfortable tennis racket, maybe some players with some injuries. 
So this racket is very close to the previous version in terms of power, just a bit more stiffness, a bit more power, a bit more stability. Guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope it will help you if you're looking for a new tennis racket. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Have fun playing tennis and I see you in another video. Take care. Bye bye.